good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I'm Kent McLaughlin with Action Dorset News, here to tell you about the goings-on of the church that we call home. There's lots of announcements going on, so let's get straight to the news. First off, September 5th, we will be going on the GROW ministry again. The G team will be meeting today under the leadership of Pastor Steve. We hope that you will come at 3 p.m. and be a part of praying for our community. On September 10th and 11th, our youth group at the church, the Lift Ministry, will be having a lock-in from the Friday night at 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning. And I have it on good authority to know that the students will not actually be locked in. They will have fun and a good time. See Pastor Chris for more information. On September 11th, the ladies' ministry will be having a game night at the house of Miss Amanda Smith. Bring your favorite snack and your favorite game. The two do not have to be the same. And be there at 5 p.m. for a fun-filled night of frivolity and have a great time with the ladies of our church. On September 12th, at 12 p.m., our student ministry will be having a fundraiser for an upcoming mission trip. We hope that you will be a part of this and that you will come and be a part of it. I have it on good authority to know that they are going to be doing all kinds of health and safety procedures to make sure that everything is handled properly and there will be no problems with COVID. That will occur straight after the church service. And again, we want to remind you that the best nation in the world is donation. Also, that day at 3 p.m., the GROW ministry team, led by David Wright, will be going out and they will be praying in the community, so we ask you to be a part of that. At 3 p.m., our church council will be meeting, followed by at 4.30 p.m., our deacon meeting, so that is September 12th. On September 16th at 11 a.m., God's Antiques will be meeting as they have a fellowship, and I hope that you will come and be a part of that group. And hold on, this just in, this just in, I have breaking news. Pastor Steve has been announced as the goofiest pastor in all of Douglasville. When asked for a comment, Steve replied, I love all those Star Treks. In other news, on September 19th, our church services will have no deaf interpretation because what's going on is our deaf group will be going to a sister church nearby that is going to be starting their deaf ministry, so they are going to support. So no sign language for the September 19th service. Also on that September 19th Sunday, the GROW ministry team, led by our students and Pastor Chris, will be going out at 3 p.m. If you can help, please contact Pastor Chris. Also, if you're a Sunday school teacher, we're asking that you would come for a a Sunday school meeting that we're going to be having at 3 p.m. in our church. This is going to be so we can set some course for our Sunday school ministry. Also at 4 p.m., if you are part of the men's ministry, we're going to ask that you would come to a meeting at 4 p.m. We're asking all men who would like to participate, who would like to be a part of our ministry, to come and be and see how they can help the men of Douglas County come to know Jesus Christ. On September 25th, our college and career class will be going to see Skillet, at the Tabernacle, you can see Danny Bokine for more details of this. Um, sounds like it must be some kind of cooking show with it being skillet. <laughs> Just a, a little funny there. <laughs> In other news, on September 26th, our church will be celebrating its 36th anniversary at our homecoming. Now our homecoming, we're going to have a few special things during the service, but also I hope that we're going to have a meal afterwards. We'll have to have more details coming through as we see what happens with the COVID variant, but I hope that you will make plans to come on September 20, 26th and be a part of this service as it should be a great time and a fun time of remembering all that Dorset Shoals has done. At September 28th, we will also at 6.30 have a ladies dinner out. This is for our ladies to get out of the house and be able to spend some great time with one another. That'll be at IHOP in Douglasville, and 6.30 p.m. is the time. On October 2nd, jumping into the next month, there will be something sponsored by our ladies' ministry called the Still Family Farm Fall Family Activity. That's a lot of Fs in one sentence. Everyone is invited. This is going to be something for our families to be a part of, and they're going to meet at this farm at 1 p.m. for a lot of fall festival, fall festival, fall festival, Fee, 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 fi, fo, a lot of fall stuff, so just be a part of that. Also, on September 21st, excuse me, September 2021, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on as we start to get into 
Operation Christmas Child. Operation Christmas Child is the worthwhile ministry that we have at our church, and we need your help with this. So if you are wondering how can you help to pack a shoebox for children all over the world who need to know about Jesus Christ, you can come and see. You can contact Dr. Joel. He can help you. Uh, Teresa Strong can help you. And also Leanne Griffin can help you with this as well. You can also see our lead app for more items that are needed, or you can get a suggestion list that is available in the foyer. If you would also like to have an empty box, that you could pack at home on your own, we have those boxes as well. The filled boxes will be due on November 7th so that we can have our packing party. It's going to come up on the following Sunday. And the shipping cost is $9 per box. It's gone up a little bit. And we do ask that if you would like to give to the church account for that, you would look at account 8021 OCC for that to give online. If you would like to give money in person, you can give money or a check. But we do ask that you do not place the money inside the box but turn it into the church office so that we can have an accurate count of how much we need to send. So as you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on here at the church, and we hope that you will be a part of it. This is Kent McLaughlin with the Action News Dorset, signing off.